how do you name cations? If so, this this rule, if cation is of transition metal, its charge is written in Roman numbers. So for cations, there's this rule that if it is a transition metal, then you mention its charge. We do it for anions as well, but again, not in IGCSE and olefins. So let's take an example of this. I have these two ions, this one and this one, and I want to react them. Now, this is clearly a transition metal. So what will be the name of this transition metal? Is the metal, but because it is transition metal, it's in that small block in the periodic table, we will name its charge with it. So we'll write two in brackets like that, because this ion is not just iron ion, it is iron two. Now, why do I do that? The reason I do that is because sodium will always be Na with plus one. There is no other ion that sodium can make. But iron can make iron two as well as iron three. So this one is iron. So because iron can make many different kinds of ions, it's important that we identify which one. So we'll say iron two, and this is obviously chloride, and that's the name. That is literally the name of that thing. Clear? Let's take an example. Can anyone tell me the name of this ion? What is the name of this ion? It's copper. Yeah. Copper? Good. It is copper, but it is also transition. Copper. So what should I write? Copper, copper one. one. Yes, absolutely. Very good. And this one? Copper, copper two. two. Copper what? Two. Two. Very good. Okay. This one. Okay. So yeah, this one is cobalt. Four. So CO is cobalt. Again, in the periodic table that you get in the exam, all the names are written. So you don't need to memorize any names. So this is cobalt with four plus charge. So we'll say cobalt four and we write the Roman number one five. Similarly, this one, you might see it in paper four ATP. This is chromium. Okay. So that's the thing. We have these ions and these ions will have charges written with them. I'm going to give you a complex ion. This is an ion for which you don't need to memorize the formula or how it is made, but here's the ion. And its name is this. So can anybody tell me, what does this seven mean? Go on, what is it? What is that seven supposed to be? Yeah, it's definitely the charge on that thing. And it's either the charge on this or this because the whole thing has a negative one charge. So of course it's the charge on MN here because it is the charge of transition metal. So that's why in this thing, MN has a charge of plus seven. Things can have plus seven. So this is an example of that. Okay, so metals, we simply name them if they're ions and if it is transition metal ion, we mention the charge. That's it. That's literally how you name the compounds.